All right, if you head down south, you know, you'll find a lot of people who celebrate the red swamp crawfish. But here in Michigan, the DNR is fed up. Well, a year after crawfish were spotted wild in Michigan for the first time, they continue to spread, and it could mean very expensive changes for Michigan. 7 Action News reporter Matthew Smith is live in Novi, where the unwelcome visitors are taking over, the experts say. Matt, what can we do right now to fight this crawfish infestation? If you see one at all, the first thing you gotta do is reach out to the DNR because they're trying to track down and try to figure out where these are so they can kind of stop them from spreading. You can see he's, this is just one day of this trap being set and they've got dozens more like it. They get hundreds out each and every day. I mean, if we were down south, hey, get some butter. We'd have ourselves a crawfish boil. That'd be great. But the reality is these things are destroying the area that they take over here in Michigan. And it could be a big threat to the Great Lakes and also taxpayer dollars we all could be paying as the DNR is trying to figure out a way to get these things out of here. All right, let's see what we got. Say hello to the red swamp crayfish. Dark red, covered in bumps and a bit more aggressive than our native crayfish. Down south they're a delicacy, but up here like... they're causing a mess. It's, it's crazy. Sarah Thomas works at the DNR. She's walking me along the shoreline of this retention pond in Novi where these almost lobster-like looking guys are spreading like wildfire. We immediately find a burrow, this one several feet deep. Here's one that they dug out yesterday. The problem is they're trapping hundreds per day, and it seems like the supply is never ending. We had folks come up from Auburn um, who have studied these things down here, and these densities are like nothing they see in their native range. Like most invasive species, these things are exploding in population. Last year alone, researchers removed roughly 5,000 from this small, less than one acre pond. Now imagine if they spread to more water and did it everywhere. They have no native predators, can kill off native fish by eating their eggs. Basically, they can undo the entire Michigan ecosystem. If you're not getting a picture of how big of a deal this is, imagine for a second that in Wisconsin, they essentially dumped bleach in one pond to rid themselves of the red swamp crayfish. Another pond, they gave up and just paved it over and turned it into a parking lot. So yeah, we have an uphill battle against us. Made worse by the news that customs agents found 2,000 pounds of live red swamp crayfish at the border just last month. It's worth note, they're illegal to have anywhere in our state. Now they found their way to Novi, Kalamazoo, even Farmington Hills. We may never know how, but if the DNR can't stop the spread, all of us will end up paying for it. They would be a tasty dinner, but just down south. That one trap you saw in that store, that had 76 in it alone. These things, they keep taking them out every day. They just keep coming right on back. We talked a little bit about the cost. Uh, Michigan numbers aren't known right now, but get this, in Wisconsin, they spent more than $3 million trying to get rid of this guy. And you heard they did everything from bleach to pave over ponds. You get the idea. These things could be a real big problem. They already survived one winter, which a lot of researchers didn't think they could do. So these things could now be at threatening, or they are now threatening Michigan and our entire ecosystem. They we're live in Novi this morning. Matthew Smith, 7 Action News. That's so bizarre, but yeah, it's a problem we now have to deal with. And it's shocking that you're saying they have densities here that they don't even see down south. Right. Thanks, Thanks a lot, man. Appreciate it. Time now.